Hi, my name is Valeria Sinigaglia. I am from Murdoch University, and my FameLab presentation is called Dolphins Facebook. Now, I'm Italian. We are all about the food. My Facebook account is full of pictures of pizza, pasta, tiramisu. Now imagine a dolphin Facebook. It would be picture of fish for breakfast, fish for lunch, and you got it, fish for dinner. And while most dolphins would go out and catch their own fish, some of them get takeaway from humans. They give it to them so they come closer. And just one fish, how bad can it be? Well, I spent over 200 hours following dolphin and four years of a PhD to answer this very question. And I can tell you that one fish can lead to a sea of trouble. My PhD is about food, dolphin, humans, and relationship. Dolphin have complex relationship. Some last only a few hours, like ours. Others can last a lifetime. And their social network influence every aspect of your life. How they raise their young, how disease spread across the population. No social distancing there. But also, how they face a stressful situation. Let's say, many noisy boat, tourists everywhere, annoying researchers. So to keep track of this important relationship, I take picture of their dorsal fin. The profile of it, just like mine, is unique, and I can use it to identify single dolphin and following them through time and identify their friends as well. Now, based on my own data and 10 years of research before me, I discovered that that dolphin that come close to your boat and your boat and that other boat and accept food, then teach to their calf to associate human with food. So their calf spend more time close to dangerous propeller than not playing and socializing with other calf. They miss out on very important learning opportunity from their peers. This can have an effect on their well-being. So really the best way to help a dolphin is not helping a dolphin. Give a dolphin a fish and you will feed it for a snack. But let a dolphin play and it will learn to fish for life.